The United Kingdom's Foreign Office has given adv travel advice to its, to its uh, citizens, which reads the following. The risk of terrorist attacks happening in Canada is very likely. End quote. Does the Prime Minister agree with the UK Foreign Office's assessment, and what is he doing to protect Canadians from such an attack? <laughs> The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, Canada has a robust and sophisticated uh, level uh, process around determining uh, levels of threats to Canadians. Uh, we elevated the level of threat uh, back in 2012 uh, to medium, and it stays there right now. Uh, we are continuing uh, to make sure we're doing everything we possibly can to keep Canadians safe. We understand these are trying times around the world right now, but the best thing we can do as Canadians is stay true to our values. Values, uh, be respectful of one another, feel each other's pain, and be there to support through very difficult times of a rise in hatred, including Islamophobia and anti Semitism. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Terrorists are not interested in feeling other people's pain, they're interested in causing other people pain. And the UK Foreign Office has said, and I quote, the risk of terrorist attacks happening in Canada is very likely, end quote. Yet the Canadian government rates that risk at medium. Why the difference? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, obviously I can't speak how, uh, to how other countries uh, make their determinations on, uh, on travel advisories, but I can say that the work is done daily in Canada uh, to assess the threat level to Canadians and what can be communicated uh, to keep them safe. We uh, elevated the, uh, the threat level to medium in 2014, Mr. Speaker, and it has remained at that level since. But every single day, we reevaluate and ensure that we are doing everything we can, uh, privately and publicly, to keep Canadians safe. Thank you. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. And yet, if you simply read the UK Foreign Department's assessment of Canada, and I quote, the risk of terrorist attacks happening in Canada is very likely, end quote, then there is a very serious risk, Mr. Speaker. Why did Canadians have to learn from a foreign government about an increasing threat of terrorism in Canada? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, once again, I can't speak to how the UK makes its determinations, uh, but I certainly can say that in Canada we have top security agencies uh, and officials who work daily to reassess the threat levels to Canadians. Uh, they are working uh, every single day to keep Canadians safe and will continue to keep Canadians informed on the best ways to keep safe, Mr. Speaker. Here. 